Hey there folks, this is DMC Jedi Man, I'm coming to you with another video. Today is the spoiler-free review of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So don't worry folks, there's going to be no spoilers in here, you know. So feel free to watch this one. If you haven't seen the movie, I won't be spoiling anything. Uh, so the movie, first off, it has the perfect blend of humor and the action adventure seriousness. Like, the funny moments get to have their bit, but the super serious moments, you know, happen as well. There's a very good blend ratio of the two. You know, my favorite gag involves a slime alien and holes. And no, that does not sound, it's not as dirty as it sounds, trust me. <laughs> uh, you know, Scott, Cassie, Hope, Janet, and Hank are all back. They all have arcs to go through in this one. You know, character growth and whatnot. You know, I think Scott shows how far he's come from his first days as Ant-Man to now being willing to make the big sacrifices if needed. Cassie really comes into her own in this film. You know, we get to see a lot more out of Janet because we didn't get as much with her. You know, yet, so she gets a time to shine. You know, Hank's still the lovable curmudgeon we've all grown to, to love. You know, and Hope shows that she's come quite a ways from her first time. Uh, Kang is an incredible villain. Like, you get chills with his performance. Now, he is, he, he shows himself to be a legitimate threat, and honestly, I cannot wait to see how he is eventually dealt with, because he seems possibly stronger than Thanos could be. So, that's saying something, considering Thanos is a guy who did that, and half the universe vanished. Uh, the effects in this movie are gorgeous. You know, it is a visual feast for the eyes. Uh, MODOK is an incredible villain. He's funny and threatening, and who he is will blow your minds. I am not going to say who he is, but he's someone you've seen before. Uh, let's see. Bill freaking Murray's in this. You know, he plays... A character that Janet knew, and he's as awesome as ever. You know, you can't go wrong with Bill Freakin' Murray. The soundtrack was good. Uh, there's two end credit scenes. You know, one, the first one happens just partway into the end credits and is major in setting up the, the MCU going forward. So you do not want to miss that one. The second end credit scene at the very end of the credits sets up season two of Loki. So if you're a big fan of the uh, Marvel TV shows or a big fan of Loki, yes, Michelle, that means you, then you do not want to miss that end credit scene. But it's an incredibly good movie. I highly recommend going to see this one in the theaters. I didn't see it in 3D, so I don't know if the visuals are even better in 3D or not, but it needs to be seen on the big screen to be fully appreciated. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Anyway, this has been the spoiler-free review. If you've seen the movie or if you don't care about having things spoiled, then check out the spoiler review. And I'll be back with another video soon. This has been DMC Jedi Man. I'm signing out. Peace, everybody.